Hello everyone, I'm Something Wicked. Welcome to the Wicked Workshop. I've got a user request video for you today, guys, on creating your very own custom outpost uh, menu list. Basically, I uh, menu category, call it category, restructure category, whatever, build category. Um, I had originally had the instructions down uh, in the description of, of the uh, mod that I was actually doing it for. Um, I found it in a Reddit post uh, by FinalCraft6992, but it was a little bit confusing, guys. Um, so I decided, you know what? Great idea. Let's let's do another video on it. I'll explain exactly, you know, what needs to be done, exactly why it needs to be done, you know, what creating this does, and you know how it how it links it to this, you know, everything like that. So, uh, without any further ado, guys, let me get this moved over. I've got the kit open, and uh, let's see, we're in packings now. We need to come up to miscellaneous, and we're going to come to keywords first because it's the keywords outpost category. We'll filter. And this is what tells the game. These are your different categories, basically, right? So your power, your miscellaneous uh, furniture displays, you've got your structures, right? Um, this gets added to a list, which tells the game, you know, these particular keywords are all going to be structures within this menu. Okay. And what you have to do is you have to create your very own keyword, very similar to what all the other ones are. Okay. We'll open up uh, structures and we'll just compare the two side by side. Okay. Um, it's a recipe type filter. Okay. This is the naming convention of it. I put it, you know, very similar. I just add stuff to it. Okay. But the display name, this right here is what's important because this is what's going to show up. Like when you click over and it says structures, you know, for example, right, Wicked Workshop, this is what mine says, Wicked Workshop. So instead of structures, and then I've got my sub lists all in here. Okay, that are going to tell everything exactly that. So first thing is make your keyword, okay? Make your keyword, name it correctly, make sure that it's a recipe filter type, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to come over to form list, right? And the form list that governs these is called outpost recipe categories. Outpost, oops, outpost if I can spell today, recipe, okay? So this tells the game, all of these keywords I want to create menu categories for okay and as you can see i've already I've already added mine i'll show you exactly how i do it so basically what we're going to do without adding our keyword to it because that's what you can do you can right click over here and you can add but that changes the uh, vanilla menu okay um or even if you made it your own well i'm going to show you how to how to make your own this that's basically what we're doing okay so so from that all right so in order to add my keyword to it, what I need to do is I need to make my own list, okay? And it's going to be basically a keyword list. It's going to mirror what that list does so that I can just add mine to it, okay? And what I called it, Outpost Category Wicked Workshop, okay? And see, this is the keyword that I just created, Outpost Category Keyword Wicked Workshop, okay? So this essentially mirrors exactly what that list has over, right? We'll, we'll pull it back up. Recipe Outpost. Okay, so essentially we are just making our list, see, it's a keyword list, right? But what I'm going to do to add it to this list is down at the bottom, once I've got my keyword added to it, which simply you come over here, add, type in keyword, okay? And I know mine's going to say wicked something, so I'm just going to type in wicked. All right, boom, there it is. Okay, so you double click on that, that gets added to here, but this is where it gets added to right here, outpost recipe categories. Okay, remember that guys, that's that's our main vanilla list, right? We're adding it to this outpost recipe categories list, okay? So that when we pull it up, as you saw in the previous, it adds it in, okay? So I can create as many different types of, of categories as I want to, and then just create their own master list, right? It's gonna be named based on my keyword, what I named it, okay? And then I can just, keep on adding to it and it's going to just compile it and add it to it when it loads in game instead of altering the list itself okay that's the big key right there okay so after we've done that um i showed you all of my other lists before um we need our one main list that is our keyword list that i showed you and i named it category wicked workshop okay now these are my other lists these are all the other lists that i've got for all the other habs that i've made um that i've got added and things like that that i had originally i would just add these to the structures tab it's the exact same way down in the bottom. Down here, I would just add it to the structures tab, right? But instead, what I'm going to do in order to link this list, right? Okay, this list gets linked by constructible objects, okay? Similar to the exact same way that the vanilla game, you know, that you would link, like say you just wanted one object to go in the structures, then you would just create a constructible object. We'll come up and I'll show you. 
Um, it's a little bit further constructible object. Okay, so what the constructible objects in the game are called um, CO, constructible object, output structure, pack in, OPK, ops, four wall, hab. Okay, so this is the game's constructible object and it tells it to create a hab list. Okay, so instead of creating an object, this creates the list and this essentially is just the variation list, right? Just like I showed you, it's a subcategory list. So you, the game could have added, you know, 20 other models to it. This first one creates the list, okay? And then when we come and look at our list again, okay, all they do is add other items to it. So we'll look at our the outpost structures list, science habs list, okay? So remember the first one created it, and then they just add another list or another object to it, and that what's, that's what throws them both inside the game. So we're doing basically the exact same thing, right? My science list, Okay, is just a list that's going to link to my main list of my outpost category list. This one right here. Okay, so I'm going to do that by a constructible object. So I come up to my constructible objects, right? I've already got one that I've made. This one right here is for, okay, we'll go to the small double. So this one creates my wicked science list. And then I showed you everything that was already inside my wicked science list. So this creates the list. And as long as this list gets created, you can use any one of these keyword or workbench keyword structures. You can use structures if you want to. You can use um, quest, power, you know, decorations, whatever. The important part is to change down here. If we'll open up, like for example, um, we'll do just the regular game one. And then this is actually recipe keyword to structures, outpost category structures. So this is what links it, this part, this constructible object in this list to the game's outpost category menu. So we're essentially just doing the exact same thing. Okay, so we've got our Wicked Science list that's being created, and then we're linking it to our main menu categories by our keyword recipe filter, okay? So do that for every one of your lists. You only need to do that one time, one object for each list, okay? So as you can see, um, if I type in Wicked, it'll just show you a different object. It's the first object in every one of my lists. So these are the OPH, OPH means um, hydro. So this is the hydro medium. That was the first one. Okay, OPM, that means military. This is a small double. OPS, that means the science bays. There's my science bay. Um, oh, hold on. Well, this is the one that actually creates the list. This other one, I think it's the tent hab that creates the list for you, my special structures, okay? So again, there's only two things in, on this list. There's this that creates it. And then I'll come over here, back to my lists, okay? Go back to my special list. See, the field tent creates it, so it automatically gets added to it. And then all I, no, 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 it doesn't automatically, I'm sorry. You have to physically add this to it. So make sure that even though it's a constructible object, you still have to actually add it to the list. So make sure that your list is complete, okay? So your constructible object has to be on there or else it won't show up in game, okay? Um, so that essentially creates the list. So like I said, my small science have the small double, I showed you, I opened it up. That's the one that created this list. It's included in all these other lists, okay? So that's what gives me, I showed you before all of my subcategories, my hydroponic list, my science list, my special list, my military list, okay? That's what links them all in there. Again, using your new category keyword as the recipe filter, okay? And like I said, you can use any other structure uh, or any other of the workbench, you know, keywords. Um, let me open up another constructible object. We'll use the, the actual tent have. Now, like I said, you can use any other one of these workbench keywords, that's fine. But just as long as this recipe filter is what actually links it to yours, okay? Um, see if there's anything that I'm missing. Adds it to your category. Once that's done, um, I like to just kind of go, you know, just go back and verify everything, you know what I mean? So make sure that my keyword is set up correctly. That's in miscellaneous. Um, you know, make sure that everything, there's my, there's my keyword, right? And then come back up to my form list. We're looking for the recipe category. Recipe. Oh yeah, it was outpost recipe. Okay. And bam, as you can see the game, because I did it with my list. Okay. And again, it's that very first list. It's your master list. That has to be the keyword list, okay? You add this new keyword that you created to your master category list and make sure that you add it down in the bottom to outpost recipe categories. 
once you've done that, guys, we'll uh, pull up game and we'll check it out. Okay, guys, here we are. Same little save that I use, uh, just right outside Toleman. It's a uh, clean save that I use for testing. Okay, so here we are. I use it because, yeah, this is the first time that I've literally ever done anything in it. Okay, so we're at the main menu right now. Like I said, we can come over. We've got our regular. I've got a lot of a lot of mods already installed, guys. And to tell you the truth, now that I know this, I don't know if there's stuff that I, I'm missing, you know. But it's got, I've got a lot of stuff. You know, it's pretty cluttered. And what I did before previously, I would just add them to these lists. And you would see Science Hab, you know, 18 or whatever. But um, that's not the case anymore, guys. We made our very own. So all we have to do is just scroll over. And bam, there's there's our very own list. It's got all of my subcategories in it. Um, there, as you can see, there, there's my big one right there. Um, and that's basically everything you know, everything that we've done. You know, again, this this is the special category right here. It adds you know just two items to it. Okay, there's the one that I showed you in the kit, and there's a lot of rocks around here. I'm not gonna be able to place this. There we go. Maybe too high you know so um that's how you add those things guys uh it's pretty simple if you have any questions just let me know in the comments you know um it's a pretty simple method it's not too difficult let me let me get out of here pull up another screen for you but like i said if you have any issues with it guys let me know in the comments um you know i'm doing this Try to help help out the community, of course. You know, I've had a lot of help, guys. It's been great. I love this. That's why I'm giving special thanks to everyone, especially down to my mod. Uh, I want to give out a shout out to Silent Avenger, Vanguard, Voyager, Legio, DCL. He's the one who actually asked me for the video. Uh, Vlad254, Blue Dog37, LTD22, and Idle Wanderers. Uh, I think I got that in there twice, but yeah. Uh, again, a special thanks to uh, Downfall Nemesis. He actually really helped me out uh, originally with the lists and you know things like that. I think that's how how he does it so maybe he may create or may convert his stuff over to um but yeah it makes me wonder exactly how much stuff you know that i'm missing from those from those mods and things like that um that's something i didn't go over guys um you know i'll give you a little sneak peek this is uh this is my new mod i'm gonna make this video next uh this is my rebuild of the original and this thing is crazy guys uh like i said i'll do the video of it you can i've got some custom halves and things but i was in the kit already um trying to trying to chase down another bug the habs windows stopped working for some reason literally right before i did just you know change to the list i don't think it was the lists or anything like that that did it but i, I did one other small change so i've already got the kit open and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna check it out so um like i said guys if you uh like this video smash that like and subscribe i've got my i've got my my YouTube channel, guys, where I've got all kinds of other videos on here. I've got another uh, creation kit pack-in video that I just did recently. Uh, here's the uh, video on my other mods. Uh, I've also got some exploit videos. I've did some some videos for tabs and stuff. Um, this is a good one right here. This uh, let me see where is it. At? If you want to make all of your uh, le items legendary, it's an awesome thing. But anyway, I digress, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your time, and uh, that's all I've got for you. Wake it up.